Welcome to our magic world of reading. I am Gabriela Martinez and today I am going to read you the next book of name Clifford Goes to Kindergarten. Let's check it out. Hello everyone. My name is Emily Elizabeth and this is my dog Clifford. I started kindergarten yesterday at first, I was scared, but now I love school. Before school started, my mom read me a book about what my first day of kindergarten will be like. She said I will make lots of new friends and learn all about writing, counting, animals, and my neighborhood. We went to see my new school. Clifford stayed outside, but just knowing he was close by made me feel better. We met my teacher, Mrs. Sweet, and she showed us around the classroom. She was very nice. We visited the nurse's office. If I ever feel sick, the nurse will take care of me. That is nice. Later, we played school in my backyard. I was the teacher and my mom and Clifford were my students. I tried to be just like Mrs. Sweet. I still had a few questions for my mom I asked her what will happen if I missed home or if I didn't make any friends. She said that Mrs. Sweet would help me feel better if I was sad. She would also make sure I didn't have to play by myself. On the first day of kindergarten, Mrs. Tate greeted us at the classroom door. She was very surprised to see Clifford. All the other kids brought stuffed animals, toys, or blankets. They all smiled when they saw Clifford. It was time for school to start. I said goodbye to my mom. We all sat in a circle and Mrs. Tate taught us a welcome song. Clifford tried to sing along, too, but all he could do was howl. Then we all took turns going to the front of the class to answer a question on the board. Mrs. Tate asked the question, and we brought yes or no. Even Clifford had a turn. We practiced writing letters and words. Some kids were nervous about writing. Clifford gave them kisses to help them feel better. Unfortunately, his kisses were very slobbery. Next, Mrs. Tate asked us to paint a picture of home. Clifford missed home as much as I did. When he saw my painting, he started wagging his tail really fast. Oops! He knocked over some of the water and paint with his tail. Clifford Clifford rolled around on the door to try and clean it up. Finally, it was time for lunch. I was so hungry, so was Clifford. Everyone loved Clifford so much. They wanted to give him treats, but Mrs. Tate said we needed to eat our own food so we could have energy for the rest of the school day. A 
At recess, everyone wanted to play with Clifford. We made lots of friends on the playground. Clifford's tail is great jump rope, and his nose is the best slide. At nap time, we were all tired from playing outside, but we weren't used to sleep on the rug. It was hard to get comfortable. That's when Clifford had an idea. Clifford let everyone snuggle up with him. Soon, we all fell fast asleep. Mrs. Tate was happy we were able to nap. We still had a long school day ahead of us. Clifford saved nap time. We woke up ready for the rest of the school day. Bringing Clifford to my first day of kindergarten was a big success. I can wait to go back to school tomorrow. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have enjoyed this book as much as I did. Keep watching and keep reading. See you next time. Bye bye.